What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. We've got a couple of the bootcamp students in Las Vegas here live. I just want these guys to give their experience on the program so far. This tall motherfucker to the right of me. Well, almost my height. <laughs> he pulled four times in three days. Do you want to like give like a quick summarized version? Like honestly, like before then, like I honestly would just, before I came to this boot camp, I would honestly like, I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. Like, I was just literally just babble and shit like that. Like, I feel like, I wasn't thinking. I was just getting drunk and, like, just doing my shit. And then, until, like, I was, like, reading your, like, OCAM Razor thing. Oh, OCAM Razor. OCAM Razor. And um, I would, like, try to go script by script so, like, so I can know, like, what to do, like, when I'm, like, not fucking drunk or some shit like that. And, yeah, like, so, like, the first night, um, I said, yeah, we're having this after party in this mansion, this big ass mansion we have over here. But like, we have a hot tub, come through, boom, pulled like a what, a three set, yeah. four set. I banged one of the chicks. I yeah, think I got chlamydia. Got, <laughs> got my boy late. But, and um, I banged her friend the next day. And yeah. um, the next day, uh, I used his script as uh, we're about to go rip some shots and we're gonna come right back. Pinky promise. I asked my boy Ryan, uh, the other coach. She said she's gonna get me right back, and yeah, and I was like, "Pink, kiss it if it's kiss it if it's real." And she, we both kissed it, and we went back to her crib, did our thing, and came right back. <laughs> <laughs> and then fucking the last time, <laughs> the fucking last time, I, I I was pissed off because like it only ended up with a hand drop, but yeah, like we literally like spent like what fucking seven hours together and shit like that. It was pretty dope. Yeah. Honestly, yeah, it was a situation like, the chick just lost her virginity, like, very recently. So she was, like, still, like, new to the sex game, so to speak. And was just, she was just a prude chick, like, that's it. Yeah. But you were, like, fingering her and shit, and, like... Yeah, I was sucking the shit out of her titties, bro. <laughs> 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 but, yeah, so, like, no, I just, I just want these guys to, like, uh, give a little bit of their feedback, because we've had, like, a shitload of results across the first three days. And typically on the RSD programs, everyone's always like, why, why always bring RSD into this? There's usually zero pulls on mysteries programs, usually zero. Most of these programs are usually zero. Because unfortunately, most of these programs are just training you to like approach. And that's it. And there's no game plan. I'm giving these guys an exact game plan, an exact system they can follow for the rest of their life that they can execute and they can just churn out lots of high numbers. Like I had, I have guys from like 2013, 2014 that have been with over 300 chicks now. And when they came to me, they were usually between 5 and 20. That's usually the range. Um, Real quick, you can tell your story. So, so I was, we were at uh, Omni Nightclub. I rolled up. There was this chick. You were there too. Yeah, yeah. And Sounds there was this okay. chick with, with like fucking short ass skirt, short ass dress. I went up, started grinding her, turn around, be like, I want to see how you kiss. Start making out. Through um, one of the students on the friend, and you had you had already met her the night before. I did, yeah. Uh, I'd actually met out with her the night before. Uh, yeah. So and I just happened to meet her again at Omni. Uh, and we just kind of started making out right then and there. And uh, I just used his script. I uh, just said, hey, we're going to go rip some of my shots, or we're going to go rip some shots at my place, and uh, we'll be right back. And uh, she, you know, gave the objection. Uh, I came with my friends, and I just overcame the objection uh, with the system. Yeah, so and it was, it was that simple, yeah. Yeah, like I always tell guys, like, 90% of the time when you try to bring the girl out, she's going to say she can't leave her friends. There's a specific way of dealing with that. I train guys on how to deal with that and to expect it coming because it, it comes almost every time. And... Uh, What's cool is like, I saw you guys like leaving, like you're by the exit, and I was like, where are you guys going? And the chick's like, drinks here are expensive, we're gonna go have some shots, and I was like, nice. And I looked at you and you were just like, what up? <laughs> <laughs> so it was, that was cool. Um, yeah, there's a whole bunch of other guys that have been fucking this fucker up here. <laughs> oh, you, you donated a couple, he got, you got right to the finish line a couple times. <laughs> he just went back and said. Um, but yeah, so, we're trying to like capture guys' experiences. Like, do you want to, you guys want to give any like closing thoughts on like where like how you felt about game and pickup before the program as opposed to now? I mean, sure, yeah. Like, uh, I just came in as a total newbie, so I'm like really new to this whole kind of pickup thing. But did it shock you that it was that easy to take a chick out of the? Yeah, club? It, it really did. Yeah, like that uh, was quick it, too. Like you were only talking to her for like less than ten minutes. Yeah, like it, it just kind of blew my fucking mind because like I'm I'm just not used to having stuff like, like I'm not used to just like having sex that quick. Uh, I'm, I'm used to, you know, like taking her out on dates and blah, 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 and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, it was it was just really cool. I uh, just see it all work together like that. Same here. I was like, like I was, I'm used to like fucking 
going on like fucking like month longs or like weeks long like springs and shit flings and shit but like before you fuck him yeah, yeah yeah but like the reason that's the reason i came on this boot camp like i'm like trying to be more efficient like be more pinpoint you know to like what i'm doing like you gotta you know not just spin your wheel like actually like move the progress on and like actually like i've been I, honestly like getting better every day every second i've been here honestly uh yeah, from like fucking the first night we went out to fucking yesterday. Yeah, you, you've been crushing it. Like you, you literally pulled four times in three days, which it's cool. It's cool when the guys are pulling like more times than the days out. But at the end of the day, it's a probability thing. So we're teaching guys. We have other guys that have gotten like right to the finish line and it, it blows out. Or like their chicks 100 percent down in the in the front cock box. It ultimately, but that's just how it goes. Like in poker, when I used to play poker. If a dude catches his five percent odds or his 10 percent odds and I lose. I'm not like, oh, I played it wrong. No, I played it right. And in the long run, in a year's time, I'm gonna make that move every time. And one in 10 times, it won't work out. So like, what we're trying to teach these guys is, this is a game, this is a skill game, but it's a probability thing. So we're giving them the best chances in every situation. So that's gonna work out in the long run and give you the, the dating life of your dreams. Like pretty, pretty fucking quick too. Like if you were living here, you would probably build a rotation probably now in like a month. But like these chicks that you bang, like you can, you can see them again and you keep her on the best ones, and that's it. You're, like, you're just executing the system. Oh, yeah. So like, we're not just like, hey, approach that girl, hey, approach that girl. We're saying, approach that girl, do this, this, and this. When this happens, do this. When this happens, do this. And then you get laid a whole lot. Like, do you feel like confident, like your dating life is handled now for the rest of your life? Yeah, I definitely feel like I've got like a good foundation now, and from here I'm just gonna like take it and run with it, so. Good base, definitely. Yeah. No more weeks and months of fucking doing dates and shit. Right. <laughs> so, all right, thank you guys. If you enjoyed the video, uh, please press the like button, subscribe. Uh, we're gonna have a whole bunch of videos coming while we're here in Vegas. Um, sorry for being MIA for the past week, but we were settling in. And thank you for watching. Take care.